It's basketball time, I think. <laughs> and I we can't are. get my tie straight. We're running all over the place tonight, and um, so forgive me we'll for forgive the tie. You. Okay, thanks. <laughs> there, this is always an exciting time of year here in Lincoln with thousands of high school basketball fans pouring into the capital city to cheer on their teams in the state boys basketball tournament. The spectacle got underway at four sites today with first round games being played in the six classes. In class A this afternoon, Lincoln East met Bellevue West. Less than two weeks ago, East struggled at home beating Bellevue West by just five points. But today, the Spartans won easily 91 to 60. Matt Yost had 23 points to lead Lincoln East. Tonight in Class A, Columbus met Omaha West Side in a first round game. Columbus is the second seed in Class A. Mike Mueller literally took over in this one. He had 33 points in the game as uh, Columbus won at 73-67. Mueller right here, great block, gets the ball throws it down on the break, and then gets the bucket on the other end. Mike Mueller, a great game, 33 points. Columbus is now 18-2 and two on the season. Here are today's Class A scores. Once again, it was East beating Bellevue West 91-60. to Omaha South beat Kearney 66-42. to The semifinals will be played 7 o'clock tomorrow in that one. In the other two first-round games, it's Columbus beating Westside 73-67. With about two minutes left, Northeast, Lincoln Northeast leads Millard North 56-43. In Class B this morning, Wahoo in blue won its 62nd straight game with a 76-61 win over Skyler. Wahoo going for its third straight state championship in Class B got 39 points from Jason Glock, number 45. Glock scored 30 of his 39 points in the second half. In the semifinals tomorrow, Wahoo will take on Lincoln Pius X. This morning, Pius met Lexington in the first round. It went down to the wire. In fact, Tom Burt missed this shot for Pius late in regulation, so the game went into overtime, tied 49-49. The teams traded baskets in the extra period, and with Pius leading 54-53, Russ Campbell went to the free throw line with 13 seconds left for a one-and-one. -one. He made them both, and Lexington had to play for a three-pointer down by three, 56-53. The Minutemen got a two-pointer after a block shot, but it wasn't enough as Pius won it 56-55. Wahoo has beaten Pius in the finals of Class B each of the past two years. And those were thrillers, and those two will play again tomorrow in the semifinals. Tonight, over at Pershing in Class B, Grand Island Northwest making its first appearance at the state tournament in seven years took on Elkhorn Mount Michael. Northwest trailed by four going into the final period, but Pat Hesselgesser and Jason Glines led Northwest to victory. Hesselgesser had 19, Glines 18. As Northwest beat Mount Michael 67 to 62, Northwest has now won 15 straight games. The Vikings are 21 and 3 on the season. Here are the scores from today's play in Class B: Wahoo over Skyler again by 15, Pius over Lexington in overtime. Those two meet at 1:30 tomorrow. In Class B, Grand Island Northwest over Mount Michael 67-62. York leads Ogallala tonight 60 to 45 in the fourth period. A good matchup occurred tonight in C1 with 20 and 3 Wisner Pilger in the white meeting 20 and 2 U10. Wisner Pilger broke open a close game in the fourth quarter. Good rebounding here for a bucket. Wisner Pilger won at 57 45. Chad Holtz, number 20, led Wisner Pilger with 20 points, including this nice pass for two. Wisner Pilger outscored U10 by 10 in the final period. Another C1 round action today. It was Wakefield over Wood River, 58 45. Bridgeport defeated Fullerton by two. Those two meet at 9.30 tomorrow. In other C1 games, Sutton uh, broke the century mark. First team ever to do so in the state tournament. 181, they win it. And Wisner Pilger over UTAN, 57 to 45. Now in Class C2 tonight, Shelby flexed its muscles against Lincoln Christian. Shelby jumped out to a 12 to 2 lead, and the Huskies kept pouring it on as they won tonight over Lincoln Christian, 91 to 70. A real good game for the Shelby Huskies. They are now 18 and 3 on the season. Taking a look at the C2 scores, it was Kennesaw over St. Cecilia, 71-64 in overtime. Grant beat Anselmo Myrna, 68-53. In other C2 games, Scribner Snyder beat Walt Hill, 65-59. And Shelby over Lincoln Christian, 91-70. In D1 now, the Sanders twins carried undefeated and top-ranked Humphrey St. Francis. Uh, we've got the wrong tape up on this. Uh, that is not... Humphrey, St. Francis, and Pleasanton. So let's go ahead and go to the scoreboard now on the D1 scores. And you'll see Meridian beat Lindsay Holy Family 64-62. It was Humphrey, St. Francis over Pleasanton 71-62. The semifinals at 7 tomorrow at Pershing. Potter Dix uh, lost to Why Not 70-62. And it was Sandhills leading Elwood 62-56. That one is in the fourth quarter. 
And finally now in Class D2 today, defending state champion Hampton got off to a good start as the Hawks pounded Davenport 80-39 to in the first round. Mark Dick, number 21, and Brad Jacobson, number 33, each scored 23 points to lead the 22-1 Hampton Hawks to victory this afternoon. In the semifinals tomorrow, Hampton will play Hildreth as Hildreth beat Loop County 75-59. to In other D2 action, Fall City Sacred Heart bomb Palisade 92-40. to uh, No score yet in on the Butte. Cody Kilgore game will try to update that in a couple of minutes. 